that. Sir. It's a revenge. What exactly we are talking about? No, we know that the tourism has got a little bit, you know, eco tourism we know, uh, agriculture tourism we know, rural tourism we know, but we never experienced the revenge tourism. After COVID, the first COVID, we all experienced the revenge tourism in India. If you go to hill stations, like people were mad because people cannot die without a travel. That's exactly in the tourism. It is not essential part, like you said, Madam said, that tourism is not essential. But I think it's essential because we cannot die without the travel. My point is that exactly, we were talking about the revenge tourism, but how to make it a responsible tourism? That's what exactly we had experienced in the hills after the first COVID. And second COVID has really taught us a lot of things. Responsibility is one thing which we have to learn. And how to learn that, that's the responsibility of ourselves, responsibility of the states, responsibility of the hotels, responsibility of the each and everybody involved in the tourism. So how to make the revenge tourism into responsible tourism? That's my question. Thank you. I think Mr. Shami Gray should take this question. No, primarily, it's your right that how to transform revenge tourism to a responsible tourism. It is not only the responsibility of one person, we have to do together. And that is from the tourists and all stakeholders. We have to think how we could make the destination where we are going and where the people are serving us to a better place. Policies should be framed out that you can diversify or the flow towards nearby destination, distribute the pressure in that way. Next is responsible means, which I told as well, responsible to the host. Do respect and experience their culture. In fact, till they